It's tough at the top of any sport, and getting to the top is even harder. But Hartlepool male chief sports writer Craig Hope caught up with one darts player with his eyes firmly on the prize. Well, we're here at the Headland Social Club with Hartlepool uh, dartsman Paul Jennings, who last week made his way to the quarter-finals of the BDO World Championships. Uh, Paul, just, just talk us through last week and your meteoric rise from Hartlepool uh, darts player to on the world stage. Well, it was, from the start, it was amazing. It was, uh, obviously, the crowd were unbelievable, and uh, friends and family back home, the support I've had and of well everybody in the town and throughout the North East and Newcastle has been unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's, the atmosphere on the stage is unreal. Yeah, the first two rounds, of course, against Gary Thompson and Steve Douglas, you negotiated with minimum fuss, is that fair to say? Yeah. Or was it a bit tougher than that? It was It was a lot tougher than that. Now, obviously, you've got everything to do with up there and then you've got the player. It was Gary Thompson's a marvellous player and he has been mm -hmm. for a long time and he got the quarterfinals before. He knows what it's all about. So that was going to be, I knew that was going to be a tough game when I seen the draw come out, but yeah. I, kept me, I kept my head right and I got through. Yeah. It's, like I say, Stevie Douglas, next round, he's a very good friend of mine, so mm -hmm. it was, that was even harder. But I kept my head again and I just done what I had to do and get past the player. Yeah. Into the quarterfinals against the Dutchman, uh, Wesley Holmes, I spoke to your manager on the eve of the game. Now, he told me you were going to win. Why didn't you? <laughs> He played better than me. Really? I yeah. just, uh, I, my first two games were the same, and I was just on, on the same average, and I just plodded away. The next game, I knew I had to step it up. I just uh, couldn't step it up at that time, and mm -hmm. he was more focused. He had everything there that to beat me. Yeah. And I just didn't bring my game out, yeah. which it sometimes happens, and that's darts. Mm -hmm. you can, it's either there or it's not, and you yeah. can't. Well, we've just had a little chat there, and you told me you could have won uh, the BDO World Championship last week. And what was uh, Paul's debut uh, showing at the event as well? And you are really confident in your own ability, aren't you? You believe you could have gone there and lifted the title. Yeah, without a doubt. I was, I've started darts. As soon as I started darts and realised that where I had, I knew I could win it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have gone there if I knew I'd just make a quarterfinals or first round. I believe I can win the World Championships, and yeah. I still do believe I will win it. Yeah. Well, he's perfectly comfortable on camera with us here at the, the Hartlepool Mail, but a week ago, you were thrust in front of the ESPN cameras for the first time to a, a live national television audience. Just what was that like? Scary. <laughs> very scary. It was very scary. It was just one after another, BBC to ESPN, and then back, and then... It was. I, I wasn't expecting as much as I got. Yeah. But you've got to take that with the mm -hmm. game, and especially at the lakeside. So that's that's that. So yeah. that's any sport at the moment. You've got to take the highs mm. with the lows. Did you feel like a star? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would. I would have. If I got through the quarter final and the semis, I would have felt a little bit better myself. But yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. That's how I felt. It was funny because people asking me for my autographs and things like that. It yeah. Was, yeah. It was. Yeah. How did that feel when you've got a queue of 25, 30 supporters who you've never even met before all of a sudden wanting to touch you, wanting to talk to you, wanting your autograph? What's that like? It's strange. It's, <laughs> I've never had that before and I, I, I wasn't expecting it. Even mm -hmm. after I'd won, I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, the, the crowd are unbelievable. And like I say, I'd go back again even if I didn't qualify just to be with them. Yeah. Because it was amazing, the atmosphere. It must feel like an awfully long way from just minding your own business in the corner of the Headland Social Club, does it? <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. To get all that, obviously all the fans shouting your name and things like that was, it was unreal. Yeah. And you mentioned as well, it was your, your son's 18th birthday, or due to be his 18th birthday on the Saturday, but you were more than happy were you going to miss it because that would have meant you would have been in the semi-finals of the, the tournament. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, if, if, if I had a one, he was going to come down. Mm -hmm. If I got beat, we were flying straight on to celebrate with him. So yeah. I wish he'd have been down there celebrating his 18th. Yeah. That way. And your family as well, they've loved this rise, haven't they? Oh, yeah. My wife's, well, she's been sick most of the time. <laughs> well, on the way down there, she was terrible. But yeah, all my friends and family, and obviously they've been struck by the telly watching and they've loved it. Yeah. So what now does the, the future hold, the immediate future at least? Yeah, I'm back on the tower next year, uh, well, this year. So in Holland, February, and in Scotland after that, and then. It's all Latvia and yeah. Switzerland and all that again. Do yeah. it all again and hopefully get seeded. I was going to say, Paul, your list of prizes, it's a weird, weird and wonderful uh, list of Latvia, Poland, whatever else. What's it like going to these places? 
it's it's nice as a change. We don't get to see much of the country. Mm -hmm. It's just been basically from the plane to the hotel to the venue. But mm -hmm. it's it's nice to get away. Obviously, I'd rather be at home. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's nice to get away and obviously come back with a bit of silverware. It's nice. Yeah, and finally, Paul, in 12 months' time, will we be stood here with the BDO World Dart Champion? Yeah. Yeah. And the cup just there. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope he's right. Uh, but for now, we wish Paul all the best in his uh, in his future endeavours. Uh, and you've certainly put Hartlepool darts on the map anyway.